New studies show that protein drinks may put you at risk for causing kidney disease. Even the MDs are saying this now. You gotta check this out. I've been talking about this for a long time. Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist, get healthy now. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist. For over 34 years, going on 34 years, been 34 years, I can't believe it. And also, health and wellness instructor, let's get healthy. If you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, please tell other people, let's get everybody healthy. Before I get into the topic, I've just been invited to go to Dubai and give a seminar. I'm excited about that next year. Also, a new group as they wanted me to come and talk with uh, people around the world uh, talking about health and wellness. So I'm excited about that also. Well, new studies show that eating a lot of animal protein, especially even protein powders, are not good. Even the vegan ones, too much is not good. There's no doubt about that. And I've talked about this before. Now even medical doctors are talking about, you know, pushing the limits of what our kidneys can handle is not good. And we are causing harm to our kidneys. And the amount of animal products we are consuming has gone through the roof. You know, what we eat in the way of any animal products from the 1950s to now has gone up uh, tenfold from 50 pounds a year to 500 pounds a year. Uh, really not good. And that correlates also with the increase in kidney disease that we've seen over the years. Wow, not good. And if you have kidney disease, the first thing they do is put you on a low, you know, protein diet in order to keep your kidneys from going south and, and causing problems even more. So this is vitally important. And studies show that eating a whole foods, plant-based diet is good for the kidneys and helps to prevent kidney disease. So that is important. I think that's the most important message. If you want to keep your kidneys intact and not have, you know, be on dialysis or have a kidney transplant, be on steroids and things like that, really important to keep your protein level I recommend about five or six percent. Uh, I don't think that we need 20, 30, 40, 60 percent as some people recommend, really not good. And in the long run, we will see problems. And studies were done showing that, you know, the more metabolites that we see come out of uh, animal proteins like TMAO, heme iron, and things like that, the more kidney disease we see. So very, <laughs> almost conclusive evidence that, you know, eating lots of animal products and especially, you know, high protein ones are not good for the kidneys. And this is a very slow, insidious disease that starts off, you know, just a little, you don't even notice, you know, kidney disease is taking place. You all of a sudden you, you do some blood work and all of a sudden they say you have kidney disease and you're down to 60%. So it's really not something you catch and say, oh, I'm feeling bad. But at that point, it's really bad. So we eat a whole foods, plant-based diet, eat lots of whole foods, you know, whole fruits and vegetables and grains and, and beans and lots of greens, lots of greens, lots of beans. Those are important. And that is the way to go. You can't get too much protein eating that way. And you will be sure to keep your kidneys going strong for all your life. If you have something going on, give me a call at 831-869-9119. 831-869-9119. I am always on the cutting edge of new discoveries of what's going on. And that's why a lot of people are asking me to come and get talks in different countries uh, around the world. And if you have something going on, let's catch it now and we'll reverse it and get you healthy. 831-869-9119. Also remember, remember God and remember I love you. I have a client who <laughs> every Monday through Friday, we'd have a migraine first thing in the morning. 
and on weekends and when he was on vacation, it never happened. And I asked him, how do you like your job? I really don't like it at all. And I said, well, cause and effect, you know what I mean? If we hate what we're doing in life, you know, it's going to make a change in our body. We really need to love our our work in order to, you know, live a you know fulfilling life and give off light and love to everybody else. And so he is now looking for another way to making a living. Uh, he creates statues and uh, out of concrete and things like that. And he is a wonderful artist. And now he needs to be moved forward and do what he really loves instead of putting himself through the proverbial hell <laughs> every day. Not good. And having the terrible migraines every single morning. I love you.